Hello and welcome to Analogous. This is where I share my love for analog music. Today we will be unboxing a cassette tape of Barbie's Cradle's second album, Music from the Buffet Table. But before that, let me tell you about my deep connection to cassette tapes. My father had a huge collection of it, mostly ballads, but also a lot of modern jazz and some rock. Anyway, that's where I started my musical exploration. Started collecting my own tapes when I was in high school. First one I bought was, uh, was Michael Learns to Rock, uh, played on Pepper album. I actually sold ice cream on the streets during the summer just so I could earn money to buy it. The second one I got, which was a birthday present from my mother's friends, was uh, Brian Adams' So Far So Good, Best Of compilation. Then, when I started college in the metro, it meant I had my own allowance, so I could do whatever the hell I wanted with my money. Naturally, most of it went to tapes. Even food was, uh, well, second priority. And from then, I just grew my collection, tried out different types of music, even the ones I was 0% familiar with. Unfortunately, over time, many of those went missing, aka borrowed, by friends and were never returned. And there are some I sold as well because I didn't like them anymore. So, in the early 2000s, CDs were rapidly replacing tapes as the most popular format here in the Philippines. Even though they were more expensive, about three times the price of a cassette. It took a few years for CDs to fully overtake the cassette format, but when it did, it came to a point that cassette tapes were no longer manufactured. People had no choice but to get their music on CDs whether original or pirated, because piracy became easier when music formats became digital. Sure, there was the advent of downloads as well, but it wasn't like most people had internet back then and like now. But music aficionados really liked the CD. You can't deny the ease of use, the convenience, you can directly go to a specific track, the fact that you can see on the monitor how long each song is, the clearer lyrics and liner notes and larger album covers. Of course, vinyl is the largest and best in that aspect, but that's another story. But after a decade, there was a slow resurgence of the cassette tape format. Some independent labels started putting EPs and albums on cassette. And now, even mainstream bands sometimes have limited edition releases of their works on cassette. In 2013, some record labels in the UK organized the Cassette Store Day, and now it's done annually. Today, you can find different online groups and forums dedicated to buying and selling cassette tapes and cassette players. You can also find them on eBay, OLX, and other online auction websites. And also, of course, in some vinyl record stores or second-hand vintage stores, or your neighborhood garage sale. But why go back to cassette when you have quality streaming now? Why leave the ease of use? Why go through all the hassle? Why? 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 Now, don't get me wrong. I use all commercial formats in music. I have Spotify, I have a bunch of MP3s, and I have CDs as well. But personally, with cassette tapes, I enjoy the nostalgia. It's mainly that. It takes me back to simpler times. But it's not just that. With a cassette tape, you're forced to listen to the whole album because you don't want to rewind and forward a lot. Now, listening to a whole album is great. You experience a journey, you get to know the artist more, not just from one song or two, but from a story that the creators have weaved for you. It's a movie for your ears. Another reason, it's tangible, meaning you can touch it. You can see the magnetic tape. Sure, the CD is tangible as well, but what do you see when you look at the underside? A friggin' mirror. Also, the tape is fragile. Lots of things can go wrong all of a sudden, but that's the beauty of it. You have that excitement and uncertainty, and that's definitely not unlike relationships. Where am I going with this? Well, where's the excitement when you don't have disagreements sometimes? It's boring. That's what life is. The ups and downs, the changes. That's what art is. The emotion and the experiences. So you take good care of the cassette tape. You make sure it's always protected by the case and it's not stored in a hot nor damp area. 
and you have to play it once in a while as well. The MP3 or the streaming formats, you just take them for granted. Like, okay, it's just there and I'll, it'll just be sitting there. It'll be just as good when I go back to them. But here, you actually have a responsibility. And to me, that's a good practice because in life, you really have to take care of your relationships and go through frustrations and find out how to solve the problems. And if eventually it breaks beyond repair, then we move on. But we can't just replace them that easily. Not like the MP3 or other audio file types for that matter. So, let's go. Let's unbox this thing. Music from the Buffet Table by Barbie's Cradle. So I got this one last week from an online seller in Davao and I've been looking for this album for over a decade now. I wasn't able to get one during the time of its release and when it went out of print, I regretted it. This will be the first time that I will hear it in its entirety because you can't really find high quality MP3s of Filipino albums. It's usually just between 128 to 256 kbps, no 320 and I don't like listening to low quality mp3s. It's too compressed, it sounds way off the intended music of the artists and sound engineers. So half of the songs here I haven't heard yet, half of it I became familiar with through Barbie's greatest uh, hits comp compilation. So first off, let's uh, rip off the plastic wrapper On CDs, these plastic wrappers are way harder to remove. Ask your parents or uncles or aunties. So you have, uh, you have the album art here on top and there's the alphabet clearly emphasizing the letters B and C. I wonder why. Just kidding. And uh, on the back cover you have uh, you see that? Were you able to see that? Okay. On the back cover, you have the track listing. It doesn't indicate which ones are on side A and side B though, or sides one and two. It does say uh, part one and part two, but that's because part one is the album and part two are the bonus tracks. These three songs were carried over from their first album. And if you look on this corner, uh, something's written, it says, Hoy, an authorized duplication of this recording is very, very bad. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Hoy. So, you read the details and suddenly there are, as we call them now, Easter eggs. As you can see, they're very happy here. Background on this album, released in the year 2000, it's the second album by the band. Barbie's Cradle is a really good three-piece pop rock band from the Philippines. Barbie Almalbis, their uh, singer-guitarist, chief songwriter, is very much influenced by the great Joni Mitchell. On this sophomore outing of theirs, they really grew and became comfortable sounding as a group, more mature, if you will. By the way, there's a huge irony here. I think because I heard many years ago that Barbie got rid of, her, of all her music library. Whether those were her collection of CDs, of tapes, or vinyl, I don't know, but I heard she was trying to cleanse herself spiritually. I don't know if that's true, but if anyone can uh, tell me, you can put it in the comments. All right, so sticker seal, there it is. Not every tape had these and one would just throw them away, but some people would just leave it there. Some CDs also had sticker seals like this, so let's just... Tear that off. There you go. And this is the cassette itself. Uh, now you can see the track listing there on each side. Before we play this though, there's one very important thing we have to do and that's removing these small tabs on the top. Now this is very critical because when these are not removed, you, if you accidentally press the re record button, it will erase the original recording on the tape and record whatever sound is coming in. So to break this is basically protecting it from being written over. 
I did see on a couple of US made tapes that they don't have the tabs to begin with, like this one. Just not sure if all US made tapes are like that. Now if you needed to record a tape without the tabs, you can just put a folded paper inside it, like so. Maybe you need more, but uh, something like that. Or you can just uh, put scotch tape or masking tape inside, I mean, over it. So, to remove the tabs, you just break them. There you go. Alright, so this is ready to play, but let's look at the inlay first. It's stuck to the sticker seal. Let's be careful. There you go. So we have uh, child art here. And we have this very good looking design. And the lyrics are all there. Yeah! I love albums with lyrics. They're just really, really great. You can sing along. It's fun. All right, so let's play this thing. So if you enjoyed the video, click like, don't be shy, and if you want to see more in the future, just uh, click on subscribe. Thank you for watching, my name is Rob, and this is Analogous.